Hey guys, Colin from Rum Venture. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here, but it's night time. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, still working in the shop, but um, we're going to look at another shoe that I wear. And like I said in the previous um, episode, um, it is a classic shoe. So uh, I've been out running in the snow in it today, hence the uh, bonnet. Um, and it is a classic shoe. New laces, you'll see. It is the Walsh PB Ultra. This one, there is a difference. There's the Walsh PB Elite and the Walsh PB Racer, which is red and green. Um, difference being the Ultra is slightly wider. It's not particularly the widest of shoe, anyway, but I can get in it. The Racer is a little bit climbing shoe fit it's a racing shoe you want to be dancing over the rock so let's have a look at it um, it is not a lot to it but it is one of the most durable shoes around uh, start with a classic grip Walsh PB been around since 1962 ish um, and it's a classic fell shoe okay so it's designed for um, running on mud basically the midsole <laughs> There isn't much to it. It's really, really hard. But running on soft stuff, you don't really need. You do feel the ground. As soon as you get onto the hard tarmac, let's say on a on fell race and say about half a mile of road or whatever to get past, you're going to feel it. But it is very minimalistic. There's not a lot to it. Um, it's basically an upper that's got a couple of pieces to it. There's a heel cup, another bit that's stitched in overlay. It's almost like a, I don't know, a, what, a taffeta, would you say? type um, and suede type feel to it um, these are vegan they use a vegan glue down I've replaced the laces in these because the laces uh, eventually snap these are still wet from uh, today's snow they've worn the lugs down a little bit this is a nine and a half normally it's got Walsh written across there in gold but that's worn away as well um, my dogs have finally chewed through a pair of these my old ones that were falling to bits uh, we've had them quite a long time Lacing, um, it does have sort of like a uh, these sort of bits up here sort of hold the foot quite well. However, the mid bit here is quite narrow. So if you've got a particularly wide foot um, and you use the whole of the foot, you are going to come through it a little bit. Foot beds, you can replace these as you can place the laces. Just ring up or uh, go on the Walsh website and order replacement foot beds, etc. It's not particularly a fancy foot bed. And inside, it's just bits of hard. Almost like cardboard, if you like, and board. Basically, it's wrapped uh, around that sole, and the sole stuck on. You can get them resold as well. Um, it is a classic fell shoe. It grips on virtually anything, rock, etc. I've done quite a lot of racing in one of these. It's um, a modern day classic. Day classic. Um, I don't sell these. It's a fairly bespoke shoe. However, go to the Walsh uh, website. Um, and you can order from there. They are not expensive, about 75 to 90 pounds, 65 to 90 pounds, depending on the model. Um, yeah, it is a classic shoe. I love running in it, it's very comfy. Short to medium distance, I wouldn't do too really long stuff unless it was soft. I have done a, what used to be a Kim, a Carrotmore International Mountain Marathon, now the OM Original Mountain Marathon. I have done a Kim in these. Okay, guys, so that's the Walsh PB Ultra. Iconic, i to say. Great sort of fell shoe, ideal for Dartmoor. Um, but there we go, available from Walsh. Okay, guys, uh, coming up tomorrow, we're going to look at a, another shoe um, and uh, what I wear for my ultra distance stuff. I'll see you then soon.